Hello guys, my name is Brett, and as you can tell, my mic is a lot better. It's not going to be permanent, I'm just over at my friend's house, and he happens to have a really nice mic, which is funny. Okay, but, um, yeah, so this is the new world we're going to be using, because the one that I had before absolutely sucked, and I had created this world a while before um, I had started doing Let's Plays, so I had decided that it would be better just to start using this rather than rather than the other one. And I think, no, I'm not hard. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, run-through of the whole thing. Hopefully do it in under 15 minutes so I don't have to break it up into multiple parts like uh, I might have to do because I'm not a YouTube partner. But, so, uh, this is the main part of the uh, base. This is a large cave. I have all my storage in here. I have my um, soon-to-be expansion. I uh, My tree farm, my enchantment table, my XP farm, my nether portal... Uh, sugarcane farm, stuff like that. I'll go over it in more detail. But up here, I have my sand and sandstone. I have my nether items in here. I have my cobblestone in here. I have my block items in here. My non-block items in here. Valuables, record player. I have my wooden items in here. And then I have my uh, tools in here. This is a uh, ladder up to the surface. Um, over here... We have a uh, enchantment room with an optional uh, low level or high level enchantment uh, switcher. And then I have my uh, pear squirrels condensed tree farm farm. So yeah, that's that. Um, and then I have, if you're noticing this hole in the floor, that just goes to a lower level of the cave. But we're going to go from the top down to the bottom. So here we go. If this is a little fast, I'm sorry. I'll go, you'll see more parts in depth in the Let's Plays, but I'm just really trying to get through this faster than 15 minutes, because I hate editing ch into chunks. But, as of now, I hear a zombie, I'm going to get this out. Here's my uh, wheat farm, which is fully, or not fully automatic, it's semi-automatic. Behind these blocks, we have water, so when we flip a switch down there, uh, the water sweeps it all through, out this hole, and down into my main cave. Up here, we have a second part and a zombie. Which is up here, I'm guessing. Is that right? No. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, we have my nether portal, and then past that we have my uh, fake, fake jungle. Which is underground. Um, I have my nether portal, which I'll show you right now. And in the nether, I have my chest right here, which has a lot of other stuff that I don't need back at home. Um, in the nether, I have this little kind of, excuse me, half walkway, which, uh, which leads to, whoops, which leads to, oh, lag, my uh, nether stronghold. Which, if we uh, hurry along, we take a left and then a right, leads to my Ito Slabs design, Blaze XP Farm, which is awesome. So we head down here, I'll let them in, shut the door so they can't get in, hit this button. Sorry, right, I'm probably going to have to edit my voice to be a bit louder. And then I can just one-hit them or potion of uh, harming them. And yeah, I level up. And then over here we have a um, non-opt-outable, only high-level enchanter. Enchantment room, I should say. And so yeah, that's basically it for the nether. Well, at least this nether fortress. But if you guys really like this audio setup, I'm sorry, it's not going to be... This is a $250 mic. So it's probably not going to be in the near future. I'm thinking about getting a blue snowball mic, which is just $100. And that would be a lot better. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking for that. But maybe. I don't know. I'll see how it is. Um, oh, look at that. Low battery. Excuse me just a moment, guys. I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. 
had to grab my charger. Um, in here we have um a kind of winding staircase that leads to my nether wart farm that I could harvest if I wanted to, but I have more than enough nether wart at home, so there is absolutely no need, and that's why I don't. But actually, I think I will, cause I just thought. Um, for a second, that I could just store it in the chest right at the beginning of the uh, nether, and then I wouldn't have to waste this time. Some time, I wouldn't have to waste this time. Some time else, so I could just do it now rather than later. Even though this is supposed to be a shorter video, but that's fine. I think I might even treat you guys to 1080p this video. And by you guys, I mean my zero subscribers at the time of this video. So, yeah. Okay. 30, 30, 63. Not bad. Okay, back to the real world. So, yeah, my fake jungle in here. I have my upper level of my base, my, my farm my my med medium level if we continue in this direction we can see some wiring from the tree farm um we have this work in progress which is going to be my um my zombie xp farm Z uh exumavoids shout to exumavoid i'll put his link in the description as well as ethos lab um they that's i'm using different things from them Wait, what did I say was... No, Pear Squirrel, not Ethos Lab, even though he's a bro. Ethos Lab's a cool guy. But, um, I also have another ex uh, dungeon down here, and I just have the mobs transported, like, 23, I think it is, blocks up, and then have them just dropped, and they're one or, or two hit kills. Excuse me. You can't one-hit zombies uh, with your hand, because they apparently wear the leather armor, if you didn't know that. Um, next... We have, so that's about it actually for the innards of the base. Um, that's that, yeah, that's actually about it for my whole base. Um, we're pl I'm planning on some doing on do oh my god, I need to slow down when I talk. Planning on doing some new things around the base, but this is going to be the uh, oh, actually, no, I forgot to show you guys the potion room. So, yeah, I have this cool cool little entryway with lava and you can see the ravine below but then there's this you walk in here this is ethos lab uh inspired this potion room um so all you do is clear at least three spots in your inventory hit this button for potion of fire resistance dispensers above fire and then you get what you need i'm filling up my glass bottles um to get water bottles putting that in there uh put in some Nether wart, and then some magma cream, and I'll have these uh, handy dandy potions of fire resistance. And then for the other one, I'm planning on doing potion of um, healing, and then maybe a third potion of harming for my blazes, and put the potion of healing for myself. And then maybe a potion of regeneration, but I'm not exactly just mowing the gas down, you know, left and right. So, but yeah, that's actually about it. Sorry about that, guys. As far as this goes, this is going to be a storage room, and this is going to be a rail cart station to other parts of the house. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video in this new world. Adios.